Irish whiskey. Another great old world whiskey, and maybe the original whiskey of the world, depending on who you speak with, is Irish whiskey. Irish distillers are known for their single malt, single grain, blended and pot distilled whiskeys, age three years. And there's no shortage of fans around the world. Most Irish whiskeys are triple distilled, although not required by law, which results in a smoother tasting whiskey than most other types. To compare, scotch is normally distilled twice, and most American whiskeys are only distilled once. Per Irish law, their whiskey must be produced in Ireland and aged in wooden casks for a period of no less than three years. The usual practice is aging it for much longer though. Irish whiskeys are often smooth, fruity, and easy drinking. The Irish are especially known for their single pot still whiskey, formerly called pure pot still whiskeys. Single or pure pot still is the only style of whiskey that is exclusively made in Ireland. Where single malt is produced from 100% malted barley, pure pot still whiskey uses a mix of malted and unmalted barley. This mixed mash bill gives the whiskey a distinctive spiciness known as pot still character. Distilled in copper pot stills, the unmalted barley offers a freshness, spice, and creaminess associated with Irish whiskey. Irish whiskey has a distinct flavor profile that can be generally described as light and fruity with evident cereal grain notes. It's an ideal whiskey for cocktails, including the popular Irish coffee. Irish whiskey comes from unmalted barley, typically, and it's renowned for its smooth flavor and hints of vanilla. The unmalted barley shows up a lot in blends a lot more frequently due to its easy taste. Scotch whiskey, by contrast, is made from malted barley and generally has a fuller, heavier taste than many other whiskeys. Triple distillation is much more common with Irish whiskey, and it's this discrepancy in distillation methods that account for the biggest differences in taste between the two types of whiskey. It's also going to be less sweet than most American whiskeys and won't have the smokiness that scotch develops from the peat. Irish Whiskey Regulations The Irish Whiskey Act of 1980 To be considered Irish whiskey, it must by law be made from a mash of malted barley with the option of adding other cereal grains, be mashed, fermented, or distilled to no more than 94.8% ABV, and must be matured in wooden casks, not exceeding 700 liters, for a minimum of three years in the Republic of Ireland and or Northern Ireland. It cannot contain any additives other than water and caramel coloring. It must retain the characteristics of its raw ingredients, meaning it must smell and taste like whiskey. And it must be bottled at no less than 40% ABV. Irish Whiskey Classifications Blended, Single Malt, Single Pot, Grain, Single Grain, and Pochine an important note for the whiskey descriptions that follow. As a reminder, the word single always refers to one single distillery site where the whiskey was made. Blended Blended Irish whiskey constitutes 90% of all Irish whiskey production. It offers tremendous value for the money and are amongst the country's most popular exports. Blended whiskeys from Ireland can be made by blending malt whiskey and grain whiskey, similar to Scotch whiskey blends, but also by blending single pot still Irish whiskey with either of the two styles, or any possible combination of the three. Popular brands include Tullamore Dew, Middleton, Teeling, and Walsh. An example of a blended Irish whiskey is Jameson Blended Irish Whiskey. The best-selling Irish whiskey in the world, Jameson, is produced at Middleton Distillery in Cork, Ireland. First, they take the best of pot still and fine grain whiskeys, and then they use triple distillation, known for its signature smoothness. And then they age it for four years. The nose is full and floral and leads with the smooth sweetness of marmalade and fudge before a hint of Madeira and a little cut grass notes emerge. The palate is thick with a good body and notes of orchard fruits 
both fresh and cooked with a little vanilla cream. The finish has medium length with spice and honey. Single Malt Irish Whiskey is made from 100% malted barley by a single distillery in a pot still. The laws that govern the production of Irish whiskey are almost exactly the same as those used to make Scotch whiskey, so there are many marked similarities between the two. Irish single malt whiskey is aged in oak for at least three years and must be distilled from a mash of nothing other than malted barley at a single distillery. And also, it's often double distilled, just like Scotch is. Popular brands include Bushmills, Teeling, Connemara, Tyre Connell, and West Cork Distillers. An example of a single malt Irish whiskey is Tyre Connell Single Malt. This whiskey is currently distilled at Cooley Distillery, and soon at the refurbished Kilbegan Distillery, and is a double distilled single malt whiskey. Most Irish whiskeys on the market are triple distilled and or blended, but this is a trend that's changing. The aromas and tastes exuding from the glass include toasted cereal, lemons, and a touch of honey, which are clean and pronounced. There's a slight charred taste on the finish, along with some dried herbs, and it finishes with a gentle, spicy bite. Single Pot Still, formerly known as Pure Pot Still, this whiskey is a blend of both malted and unmalted barley, distilled in a pot still. Pure pot still is a style of whiskey unique to Ireland. Single pot still Irish whiskey can be a confusing term for people who are unfamiliar with the Irish whiskey category. Pot still Irish whiskey is made from a mash of a minimum of 30% malted and a minimum of 30% unmalted barley, with up to 5% of other cereals added and is distilled in pot stills. The key differentiating feature of this style is that it's made from a mash of both malted and unmalted barley. Obviously, it must be produced in a pot still, while the word single indicates that it's produced at a single distillery, like a single malt scotch whiskey is. Popular brands include Redbreast, Middleton, Spot Whiskey, Powers, and Patty. An example of a single pot Irish whiskey is Green Spot Single Pot Whiskey, a non age statement single pot still Irish whiskey comprising of pot still whiskies aged between 7 and 10 years. This whiskey is matured in a combination of new bourbon and refilled bourbon casks, as well as sherry casks. The nose has fresh aromatic oils and spices with orchard fruits and barley on a background of toasted wood. The taste has a full and spicy body, with hints of clove along with the fruity sweetness of green apples rounded off with toasted oak, and then it follows by lingering flavors of spices and barley. Grain Irish Whiskey Grain whiskey in Ireland is distilled using no more than 30% malted barley in combination with other whole unmalted cereals usually corn, wheat, or barley. It may be produced in any kind of still, though it's typically distilled in a continuous column still. This is by far the cheapest and most efficient way to produce the spirit. However, it's often much less complex than pot distilled malt whiskey distilled solely from malted barley. Considerable care and knowledge must therefore be employed to create enjoyable, flavorsome Irish grain whiskies. An example of a grain Irish whiskey is Ballyhoo Grain Irish Whiskey. This whiskey is 86 proof with a mash bill of 93% French corn and 7% malted barley. It's aged four years with an additional three to six months in port casks. The nose is restrained and subtle with a first little whiff of banana peel and a touch of heat. As it sits in the glass, a nutty, brown sugar sweetness develops. The palate and the body of this whiskey is very light, and hotter than expected given the alcohol by volume. The nose's brown sugar comes across as grainy sweetness, and both the mid-palate 
and the finish have a wonderful mushroom quality. Single grain Irish whiskey. This is a very confusing term. What it really means is that it's a grain whiskey produced at a single distillery. However, more than one grain might go into it. Typically, the mash bill mostly consists of corn with a small percentage of barley in the mix, but can be from a grain or mixture of grains, such as corn, wheat, rye, and barley, malted or unmalted. It results in a light to medium bodied style, such as ones from Teeling or Greenor. An example of a single grain Irish whiskey is Teeling Single Grain. Adding less water and not removing the oils gives this whiskey a nice, rich flavor and texture, which is incredibly surprising once you find out this whiskey is only five years old. Young grain whiskey rarely tastes this good, but the Teelings have found a way to get the most out of this young. 95% corn whiskey, and the answer comes from California. By aging their coolie made distillate in California Cabernet wine barrels, they managed to coax a surprising amount of flavor into the spirit, resulting in a unique and tasty whiskey. The nose comprises of candied sweetness, caramel, vanilla saltwater taffy, grainy sweetness, and toffee, with lighter notes of nuts, dark fruit, leather, and spice with an earthiness to balance the sweetness. The palate comes through with caramel, grating sweetness again, and that taffy with toffee, banana, apricot, nuts, and light notes of spice, cocoa, and earthy herbs. And it has a nice long finish with nuts and notes of caramel, spice, cocoa, and dried fruit and pochin, or Irish moonshine. These distillates don't meet the age requirements to be labeled as Irish whiskey formally. It's similar to American white dog or moonshine. The spirit has seen little to no time in aging barrels. It was traditionally distilled in a small pot still. It can be made from cereals, grain, whey, sugar beets, molasses, or potatoes. An example of a potin is from Glendalough Distillery. Before there was whiskey, there was potin, the father of Irish whiskey and an ancient ancestor of all distilled drinks. It was made by Irish monks in the 6th century in monasteries like Glendalough. Outlawed in 1661, but now it's back, and theirs is triple distilled in a traditional copper pot still using malted barley and pure spring water and bottled at 55% ABV for a strong, authentic taste of Ireland's original spirit. The nose is light, floral, forest berries, gooseberries, through the headiness of higher alcohol. The taste is unexpectedly smooth and mellow, sweet and spicy with traces of lychee, apple skin, and cracked black pepper sitting over biscuity malts. The finish lingers, it's warming, sweet and comforting with a spicy tail. So how's about a little bit of Irish whiskey history? Irish whiskey's been around a very long time. Distilling was brought over by monks in 600 AD, and by 1405, the first mention of Irish whiskey was documented. It's one of the oldest spirits in all of Europe. The exact origins of whiskey are widely debated, but it has been suggested that Irish monks may have picked up the skills of distilling perfumes while on trips to the Mediterranean during the 11th century. Producing Irish whiskey evolved from a local pastime into an industry in 1608, when Northern Ireland's Old Bushmills Distillery became the world's first licensed whiskey distillery. Great investment in the industry led to a huge surge in production in the late 18th century. In 1790, there were over 200 licensed distilleries in Ireland, not to mention the estimated 2,000 to 20,000 unlicensed distillers at the time. Unfortunately, a series of events led to the industry's downfall. The Irish War of Independence and Prohibition in the United States cut off access to the two major markets of the United Kingdom and United States, respectively. Irish whiskey took a nearly lethal blow leaving only two distilleries, Bushmills and Middleton. 
which were soon consolidated by whiskey behemoth Irish distillers, who took over the industry. But Irish whiskey has made a comeback. Nowadays, Irish whiskey's popularity continues to soar. And with so much versatility in the spirit, why wouldn't it? So how's best to drink Irish whiskey? Due to its smoothness and superior drinkability, Irish whiskey can be served however you like. Many people enjoy it straight or on the rocks, and it's a good companion with food, especially traditional Irish recipes. It's a popular choice for straight and mixed shots as well. Yet, it's also versatile for nearly any style of cocktail, from fancy martinis to a simple soda highball. And of course, it's amazing with coffee. So to conclude, as we've learned here, there's a lot more to Irish whiskey than just that bottle of Jameson. There's different styles, flavors, and production that make it unique to its Scottish brother or American cousin. Irish whiskey is made with a blend of malted and unmalted barley in pot stills traditionally, whereas scotch uses more malted barley, typically. Also, malted barley and scotch is dried over peat smoke, which gives it a distinctive flavor. Irish whiskey, which is made from kiln-dried barley though, tastes more of the grain itself. And finally, unlike scotch, which is distilled twice traditionally, Irish whiskey is usually triple distilled, which results in a smoother, higher alcohol spirit. By the way, this practice was introduced by John Jameson, a Scottish transplant who established one of Ireland's most successful whiskey distilleries in 1780, which continues on today. So no matter, grain, single pot, or blended, there's sure to be a bottle of enjoyment to be found right around your corner. Happy drinking. <laughs>